up, y'all? Bring you guys another video. So this bring you guys the latest when it comes to the uh, potential rematch between Norito Donaire, the Filipino Flash, and Naoya Inoue, the monster, two of the best bantamweights in the world today. Uh, it's been previously reported that a rematch will most likely take place in April. Um, no, no real progression from then since but it's looking like it all depends on the Japanese government if they will allow it but before I get more into the video I just want to say thank you thank you so much for watching please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button it helps out the video it helps out the channel I'd really appreciate it so like I was saying it looks like uh, it was reported previously that April was the month for this fight but right now because of COVID restrictions this and that they haven't really announced anything and um Boxing scene recently wrote an article about it, and uh, you know they Bob Arum they quoted Bob Arum, and as you guys can tell by the headline, Arum on Inoue Donaire rematch. I think that's really close. Depends on Japanese government, and uh, Bob Arum was quoted saying, and I quote: "It reads, I think that's really close. Uh, I quote: It reads, uh, everything depends on not on Donaire, not on Inoue, not on Ohashi or Honda, but on the Japanese government lifting." restrictions on events and so forth and then it goes on to say from what i what we understand april will be in all clear the world is opening up so it, it's looking like it, the only thing that's holding up this rematch is the japanese government and it's a great fight the first fight was a spectacular one if you haven't seen it yet go check it out definitely one of the best fights uh in recent history at bantamweight uh back and forth action between the two in the end, it was Naoya Inoue who ended up winning the fight to win the World Boxing Super Series tournament. Um, right now, both fighters are still the two best fighters in the bantamweight division. If you look at the bantamweight division, we have Inoue who holds the the Ring Magazine, WBA, and IBF belts. Nonito Donaire holds the WBC belt after he defeated uh, Nordin Obali. So, you know, it's it's still a fight between two of the best bantamweights. We have we have Casimiro who is arguably number three um, in the division but Casimiro is going through some issues legally and he has to fight also his uh, mandatory Paul Butler so while Casimiro does his thing with Paul Butler and his legal stuff might as well Donaire and Inoue fight each other again this year before Donaire starts getting too old because as time passes in my opinion uh, you know Donaire's chance of winning uh, declines um, you know he at his age, he put up a spectacular fight against Inoue. Imagine if it was Donair 10 years ago against Inoue. Man, that would have been something else. But anyway, I, I, I'd i love to see a rematch. I think we all do. And hopefully, Japan will allow this rematch to happen. Uh, there's another big fight also waiting in April over in Japan. It's the Lyota Morata versus Triple G fight. Uh, they haven't announced that yet too because I think everybody's just waiting on Japan right now. So it all depends on the Japanese government. And I think, lift it up, man. I think right now, I think things, there are just more things to worry about now. Uh, and people people across the world are living normally like we used to before COVID showed up. And um, and yeah, so I, I'm, I'm hoping, I'm hoping the Japanese government truly, uh, you know, finally lifts up those restrictions so that we can finally see these big fights taking place over in Japan. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.